first thing you need to know about Midpoint is it is Java. To run the latest version of Midpoint 3.5, you need Java version 8. It also requires a Java servlet container. Midpoint is a web application archive, deploys inside of a servlet container. To run it in production, you would also want to have a relational database. It can be flexible there in terms of which relational database you use, but you will need one. It has Spring Framework, which is, which is used for component wiring. Apache Wicket is the user interface. And we have a little framework called ConID, which is for common connectors. So one of the neat things about Midpoint is this ConID framework. It lives outside of Midpoint, so a connector can be written that complies with ConID, and then it can be used within various IDM systems. In terms of the construction, it has a very well-defined architectural structure. There are five subsystems. These five components are used to build the web application archive that then deploys inside of a Java runtime environment. So at the top, we have the GUI subsystem. That's number one. That sits, sits on top of the model. The model is where the services, the security, and the user account mappings reside. So those two subsystems, one and two, are the high-level components of Midpoint. They are highly customizable. They sit on top of the core or the low-level components that are configurable. The core consists of the repository. That's where the data storage and task management occurs. There's a provisioning subsystem. That's where we do resource and account management. And finally, at the bottom is the infrastructure where the common data model libraries and low-level utils like login and tracing and so on and so forth reside. As a general rule, the high-level components don't talk to the low-level components except through the model. The one exception to that is the infrastructure, which is used throughout the system.